Hi everybody! Today we're here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee and we're gonna stay here at the Margaritaville Island Resort. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. We're about to go in and show you guys everything that the Margaritaville well, Resort here in Gatlinburg has to offer. Now we paid $179 for a King Suite and there was about $22 in tax on that. That is a huge backlit mirror. Yes. <laughs> and of course you got your granite top sink. Your sink with your granite top. And your toiletries, your shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, and lotion and soap. Now we've used these before in the other margaritas and they're actually pretty good shampoos and conditioners, aren't they? Yes. Yes, in fact, Dan, Dawn took some home. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you got your soap, your hand soap. And your Kleenexes. Some little drinking. And your drinking For cups. your toothbrush in the morning, maybe, right? Of course, you always got to have extra thing of toilet paper. And your hair dryer. So it does have a hair dryer. Trash can. And then if you look over here, you got your makeup towel. And your towels and hand washing towels. Washcloths and shower towels. So they give you quite a bit of, they get the bigger bath towels, I guess those what those are. These are kind of like in-betweens. Yes. And um, these here are like just the makeup. Now, a lot of folks are saying, what are the thicknesses of them? Are they really super thick? Um, they're kind of rough feeling, but they're not like super soft. But they're, they're like your standard towel. These down here are a little more fluffy, but they're still kind of like scratchy, so they're not super super thought soft but wow and if i take you over here you got your giant tub and your shower heads you got different shower heads you can choose from oh yeah so this here guys we're actually in a handicapped room this is actually a, this is yeah this is a accessible we, but we wanted to kind of do this because we wanted to know what it's like to have a handicapped room so of course, you're getting the, the extra shower head. That's so, you know, you can get easy access. And of course, a bath mat. Yeah. And look at the tiling detail. Yeah, so the tiling in here is actually, it's really cool. Yeah. And it's got the extra, if you notice, it's got the extra rails so you can get out of the tub. Or if you're elderly, this would be a great room uh, for that. It's got a big sunken in tub. So, normally we would like a shower, and normally, uh, but we actually, well, we opted for the, the accessible. Shower. Yeah. yeah, and then over here I noticed uh, there is rails to get you up and off of the the commode because just face it, we're all going to be there one day, aren't we? <laughs> yes, Even <we> us. <laughs> 
and it's got the fire alarm in here. And check out the door though. The doors are heavy, super solid in here. They're like, I mean, they're like solid wood. They're like the heaviest doors ever. Got some hook there, here. Um, it's got a cheap though. There's the white shower. Yeah, thing. kind of, not too bad though. And then we have kind of like hardwood floors throughout or these are more of a tiled floor, which I actually like. So the bathroom is actually super clean, right? Right. Just like most smart. And as I'm leaving the bathroom, I walk right into this full length mirror. So you can oh. see yourself in the morning. So it is a full length mirror. You get that's cool because especially if you're getting ready for a wedding, it's definitely a, a must. Of course, you got your parrots and the mountains photo. Definitely uh, got that parrots and mountains. Yes, definitely. It appeals to well this room. Uh, we are in the mountains, but we don't have parrots here usually. But um, definitely AC. So you can control your own AC. This one here, the battery's going dead. Hopefully we don't have any uh -oh. issues in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> right. So. Of course, you got another painting in your table. So they give you Cheers. complimentary water, right? Right. A little Margaritaville water here. Of course, there's a, it says, welcome to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And the general manager here. So it's a nice little place to come and grab a bite to eat. Also, I noticed it's got USB ports everywhere. So, of course, you can charge that cell phone. And then as you turn to come over here, this is like a giant refrigerator. <laughs> and a microwave. You got to have the microwave. So you got a microwave. Well, let's see if that's clean. Yep, they did it. Because... A lot of times there's splatters and stuff, so they got that clean. And then your refrigerator. And that's a big fridge. It's also yes, got the, it's got the freezer in here too, right? Yeah, looks looks good. Looks good. It's all clean in there. Oh wow. Then if you come over here, you got a nice painting. Definitely that tropical feel, right? Right. <laughs> And you got your curl rug. You gotta have that. Curry. Everybody likes their coffee with their complimentary sugars and teas and cups. Oh wow! It's like stirring straws and everything. Yes. Of course, it's COVID set up. There's two of those. In your ice bucket. Ice gotta bucket. have that. Yeah. Definitely the other <laughs> Margaritavilles um, had that too. <laughs> Don can't yeah, Don can't get open. So what do they got for? They got decaf, they got English breakfast, they got some French roast, and some breakfast blend. You know, a sink. You can get some water. Yeah. So what's in these down below here? Just the plumbing. Now that's just the plumbing. Just the plumbing for the sink, yeah. And you got a trash can. Oh, there's a waste basket. Yeah. Gotta have one of those. And what's over here underneath this last one? Of course. Oh. Gotta have a safe. There's the safe, guys. There's the safe. So... Definitely can put your your valuables in there. And of course over here, who doesn't love parrots? Yes! <laughs> Gotta love the parrots. I do definitely love the theme. And a very decorative chair. So it's this nice little lounger, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's cool. And as you come over here, you got your table lamps, your table nightstand. Oh, hey, it looks like a postcard. Some Margaritaville. Got some, of course, the old time telephone. Just extra now, space. Okay. Now, on the base of this lamp, is there USB ports? It looks here. Yeah. So you can charge your your cell phone or other devices on that lamp, which is well needed these days. And then. And then you got your king size bed with a nice big blue headboard. Feels super soft. So, definitely a big, huge king. And what does the pillow say here? It says, changes, changes in atti latitude. latitude. Changes in attitude. Oh, wow. Then if you come over on the other side of the bed, you know, you got your same set table up. and set up and lamp. And an alarm clock in the morning. And a nice little um, painting and behind the you there. A little. A little um. Then if you come over here, you got your 
over here. Who doesn't like the big screen TV? So that looks like a about a 50 inch, about 50 inch TV there. So Samsung. Samsung. And, and who doesn't love the fireplace? You gotta love that. Yeah. So this has optional heat. Of course, we don't have the heat on because it's it's a little warm right now, but. Fireplace There's some more drawers for your space to put your things in. Definitely a... Uh... Oh, wow. Here's like a walk-in closet. Oh, wow. So they got a little... Thing, luggage rack. An ironing, ironing board. And they give you complimentary oh, robes. Robes. You can walk around like you're... Like you're... You're big time with these <laughs> robes. Oh wow, they're not like they're kind of um, they're scratchy. They're not soft. It's got a laundry bag. Laundry bag. So, and there's some extra looks like some extra linens. Linens. And also a um, a blanket. And there are some hangers. And these hangers are removable. A lot of folks are saying sometimes they're attached. And they need to know if they can remove them so they can put, you know, hang them from somewhere like a wedding dress or something. So they do remove. And this right here says, this robe has been provided for your enjoyment while you are our guest. If you would like to bring a piece of paradise from to home from Margaritaville, they're available for purchase for $75. I wonder if they say Margaritaville on them. They, and they do. They do say Margaritaville. And if you're leaving the closet, you open this door and it just slides open. And this is our living room. Oh, wow. Well, we have a, a living room, but this is a suite. So what do you have over here? We have a big, beautiful picture of ocean life. <laughs> and, and a couch. A pretty big couch. Probably good for, what, maybe three but, people, maybe four, right? It looks like you can yeah, mattress. and it is. It's definitely a queen size um, pull out bed there. So, this is actually like a second bedroom. And then, if you come over here, your, your window so you can look out. Of course, I just wanted to let you guys know there's no balcony. So, yes, guys, we got th this room is a king suite with city view. Now, I knew this hotel had balconies, so when I first saw this, I was actually disappointed because I thought we were going to get a balcony. I kind of thought so too. But if you actually read my description when I booked it, it is a city view suite. This is a king suite. So, womp, womp, womp. But we still have a, a little view of the mountains there and course the uh, Park Vista Hotel over there we actually did a review on that hotel we'll put a description down below so you guys can check that out but our big view is actually of people unloading their cars Dawn oh wow <laughs> we weren't real thrilled were we no. we're like we wanted one of the balconies but well it is what we booked it the way it was so then what else we got over here yeah. So if you look down, we got a chair, chairs yeah. and two, uh, two chairs and a table, and yeah. the pillows, decorative pillows, got fish on them. Oh wow! And then oh, in here we got a huge. Well, it looks like about a forty-inch TV in here. It's a little bit, a little bit smaller than the one in the bedroom, right? Right. And it's got a little, a little stand here. Just really, just extra storage, I guess, right? Wow. And then this room is actually, of course, shut up or shut off by this big, huge rolling door. This room made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have fun with this window, guys. I guess I'm just trying to make light of not having a balcony. <laughs> so, guys, we checked in. We showed you the lobby. We showed you this room. Now we're going to go down. We're going to check out well, the pool area, the common areas. We're going to show you the vending and some of a really cool area down by the river. And we're going to do some swimming. And then definitely stay tuned to the end of this video. So we're going to give you our full, well, 
rundown of what we liked, what we didn't like, what they can improve on, and a whole total review. Are you ready, Dawn? Ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Well, this is really convenient. As soon as you get off the elevators, they have the vending and ice on every floor. That's actually super convenient. And let's see how much the drinks are here. Okay. They're $2.50 which is actually not too bad for a hotel. Well, here is the guest laundry. Let's check this out here. So let's turn the light on. Okay, so they have two Maytag uh, front loaders. They're $1.75 for the wash, maybe. I believe this is the dryer. This is $1.50. Waiting for an elevator here on the, the second floor. What's up guys? Yeah, we ran into a friend, a subscriber to the channel here. Yeah, I do. We're actually staying in the same hotel. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you guys. We're on these huge rockers here. <laughs> And here in the lobby, this is like the coolest lobby ever, isn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, it's gorgeous. Yes, yeah. and it's got huge TVs and um, just definitely an island feel. Probably one of the best lobbies we've seen so far, hasn't it? Except for yeah. Park Vista is pretty, pretty ah, but this is definitely comfy. They got the license to chill bar down here in the in the lobby. There's a McCall in here, and her name is Rita. Well, hello, Rita. What you doing in there? You got any margarita Rita's in there? That's kind of a funny. Okay, you don't look amused. Well, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll let you be. Well, this one is named Holly. Well, hello, Holly. What you doing? Are you hanging out at the, the margar, margarita bill? Are you just itching back there? Did you find something good? Well, due to the Mr. McNasties, they actually have roped off the self-served drink area. But they got a lot of cool drinks. They got Powerade, they have Monster, they have Minute Maid Orange, they got Diet Coke, and they're 350, but the vending has them for, well, 250, so definitely you'll want to get your drinks. Oh, wow, they got, they got some, some specialty ones there. Oh wow, they got Mexican Cokes! They got a little coffee shop down here called the Daily Grind. Looks like they got bagels, they got breakfast sandwiches for $5.25. They have cold drinks, which are about $6.95 for a large or $5.95 for a medium. And then they have hot drinks, teas, cappuccinos, Mocha, mocha choca lattes. <laughs> uh, about five dollars on average. This little seating area for breakfast here. We got a little merch shop down here, a little gift store with all your Margaritaville, well, gear. They even got a, a cookbook and some koozies and cute little squids for the kids but let's check out these teas they got all kinds of really cool uh, teas <laughs> there's the uh, traditional tie-dye Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville of course you always got to have a cheeseburger in paradise Christmas is coming soon and well the snowman looks a little tropical there are you the woman to blame <laughs> the Margaritaville Resort here in Gatlinburg has got a lot of options for different restaurants. Over there you have Old Red and you have the Land Shark. And then over here they have a new a new daiquiri place above that building. Of course you are steps to Anakista and all of the nightlife and day life of Gatlinburg and there's no way Jose's just over there
Well, here's the Margaritaville Saint Somewhere Spa. They actually have a spa right here on the premises. Um, just outside of the, the main building. This is actually a historical building. This building has been here uh, way back in the days. Um, but over here, in the back back here, this is actually Jimmy Buffett's suite here. Now we could have rented that, but it was like $600 plus some tax. Now the spa is shut down due to, well, the COVID guys. And Jimmy Buffett's little private suite actually has a little private like area and they have a little fire pit I noticed. Uh, but the room, I looked online, it looked pretty much similar to the suite in here, just that you're out here by yourself. I got a nice little outside seating area here with a, a gas fire. Also got some pretty big, big TVs out here. We're gonna go out back here. They got a real cool lounging area with like hammocks and a little area where they have a little fire. So we're gonna check that out. They got a nice little hammock sitting next to the Little Pigeon River here. A little place where you can step down and feel like you're on the Titanic. Chick, I'm flying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks like like you would in the you front like of the Titanic here. <laughs> They got a Fins Up Fitness Center, but unfortunately it is closed due to Mr. McNasty. But there is the fitness center there. So it's got a couple of ellipticals, treadmills, just your basics. They got poolside. Well, we just got back from the pool and I took a shower to get all that chlorine off. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna head out and try to uh, get something to eat. Now, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna get yet. There's a lot of great restaurants in the area we could choose from. Of course, they have the Land Shark over yonder. Of course, No Way Jose's has got really good Mexican food and they have a new daiquiri bar over there. We're gonna head into the, the new daiquiri shack that just opened 
here in front of Margaritaville. This is brand new, folks. It just opened about a month or so back. We've got a nice little place setting up here. Well, here's their menu. It's pretty simple. It's got the charred grill wings. They have different types of sandwiches or appetizers, chicken quesadilla, nachos. And they also have grilled sandwiches. But that's pretty much it. Of course, they have different types of daiquiris, draft beers, and cocktails. Check that out. There's my nachos. Wow, it's actually it's actually quite big. I mean, there's the drinks there. So we got the Parmesan garlic wings. Check them out. And Dawn, you got what a chicken quesadilla and some looks like some potatoes or something. We had two diet cokes at six fifty. The wings were eleven ninety nine for eight of them. Beef nachos were $10.99. The quesadilla was $9.49. Our total was $43.35. Quick review of the daiquiri shack here. Uh, so what did you think about the service? The service was great. Yes, the service was great. The inside was decorated really, really nicely. I love the open flow. Uh, it was all one level. There was like no barriers. You can see across the whole place, which actually made it inviting. Uh, of course, all the different daiquiri machines look really, really good. Uh, so let's talk about the food now, Don. So you ordered the chicken quesadilla. Yeah. What did I you think? I wasn't liking it. Yeah, she it's wasn't liking it. Uh, I had the wings. The wings are charred, grilled wings. They had a real strong, like burnt, charred, grilled taste to them. Uh, but they were fall off the bone. They were they were good, but they had too much of the charred grill going on with them. Uh, also, I had the nachos, and the nachos were about average, like you would get maybe even at a Denny's or something. So uh, the food wasn't bad, right? Right. It just wasn't like par with, you know, with some of the other places in this area. Also, we forgot, I know you guys are gonna be asking the question, Dawn, would you do the Daiquiri Shack again? No. No, nah, I don't think we do it for food, but if we were drinkers, the Daiquiri drinkers, we I think drinkers, yes. it probably would hit a home run. This hunk of junk. Just give her a second. Just give her a second. Put it, put it in second. Here we go. Hyperdrive. Chewy. Get that hyperdrive going. We only have three seconds. I think we've been hit, sir. This ain't Star Trek. This is Star Wars. You can't do the Star Trek oh, thing. I didn't know they did that. This is Star Wars. We're in the Millennium. Uh... We're in the Millennium Belt. Look, we're in the Millennium Belkin. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, we got we got X fires and, and T wings and and all add eight add at. 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 Ready? Go again, the evening is winding down, and we got ourselves some Mexican Cokes from the lobby. These are expensive Mexican Cokes, by the way. I won't get into the price, but they were they were expensive. But I have this on my keychain. Never use it. We are now. Finally got to use for it. When was the last time you won't hear me to? Sure. Because we got to. But guys, I guess. Oh. <laughs> here's two Mexican Cokes and margarita. We got to do the deep thing. Cheers. Cheers. As they say over in England. Don wants to drink it. You're like, cheers. Well, guys, we're going to turn in, get some sleep. We're going to wake up in the morning. We're going to tell you, well, about our night experience here. 
how comfy the bed is, how the shower is, and then we're going to give you a review on everything that we experienced here. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everyone. Searching for my lost shaker of salt. Some people say that there's a warm of flame, and I know it's my own. Checkout time. So guys, it's almost checkout time. And we're going to talk about our experience here in Gatlinburg's Margaritaville. So I guess we'll start right at the beginning. Uh, parking, uh, we were greeted with at the uh, door by a parking attendant. They gave us a little tag. Uh, we were able to park in the back. Um, parking pass, what have you. It didn't cost us nothing to park. Um, we noticed that pretty much everything coming into the building is handicap accessible. And so we, we, we checked in and everything went real smooth, no problems. Um, we came up to the room and we did our room review. So let's talk a little about the room. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about um, the layout. What did you think about the layout? What did you think about everything in I here? really liked the layout, but I was like so disappointed when I found out we did not have a balcony. Yeah, we didn't have I, a balcony. I like the balconies and we didn't have one. So. Yeah, so I, like I said in the video, um, you know, we, we realized that uh, we did book the right room. It's just that it, I, I was automatically assuming that all the rooms here had balconies. And actually, nope. there's probably about, I don't know, about a, maybe half a dozen that don't have them. So that's what we got. Now, this room here is a, a handicap accessible room. Uh, and there is plenty, a plenty of room in here uh, for uh, wheelchair. It's also hearing impaired. So there's actually a doorbell out there where you can... It, it, all these lights will go off and stuff, letting people know that, um, you know, there's some at the front door. Um, the one thing I will say about the handy accessibility of this room is why is there a tub, a garden, a big garden tub, tub that's real deep? If you're handicap accessible, how are you going to step in and out of that? Yeah, I, mean, I don't understand it makes no that. Sense. I, I think it would be, would have been a shower, maybe the pull out seat or, or yes. something in the realm of that. Don't understand that. Um, but it also had the uh, lower, um, key uh, eye hole and all that so yes um other than that this room had tons of tons of room um uh, probably one of the biggest rooms with the most space that we've ever stayed in so uh yeah uh the room cleanliness now we went through we checked everything from end to end we actually uh we don't show it in the video but we, we pulled everything out looked at everything um what would you say the cleanliness of this place is Dawn? 
It was pretty clean. I didn't see anything wrong with it. No, we couldn't find anything, actually. Um, I think there might have been a little bit of uh, detail maybe in the tub. But other than yeah. that, I think there it was... It looked like it was scratch marks. In yeah, the and it was something that... I don't know that, what's going on with that. Uh, there is no wear in this place whatsoever. Now, this hotel is probably almost two years old now. I'm getting pretty close. And there is no wear in here whatsoever. So, uh, very clean carpets. There's just perfect, actually. Very, very good. They keep up everything and yes so this place is definitely super super clean um so then we after that we went down we check out the amenities right um the amenities are awesome here aren't they yeah yeah, yeah. so it's nothing really thrill you know there's not crazy thrills here but uh the pool was really really cool right I like the pool yeah this, it was super cold outside but yeah but once we, you get in and you're fine yeah, and then we, we slid down the slide and all that. We The indoor pool is super warm. It's a heated pool. So if you come here during the winter months, that pool should be warm the whole time. So that's really cool. Hot tub was... Um, hot. Yeah, it was hot. It was hot. <laughs> it was a hot tub. The indoor pool was almost like a hot tub. It was warm. Very warm. Yeah. Now, the thing about uh, the hot tub and things during COVID is that they're only allowing like four people in the hot tub. We were lucky enough to get in, but we were wondering if we were ever going to be able to get in to show you guys what it was about because um, there's you know, people in there. Yeah, and, and it's going to be very hard. So if you come here, you might not get in there because some folks, especially at the Margaritavilles, we noticed that they usually bring their their uh, cervezas and they, they like to sit in Hoover. They'll bring there. a cooler with them. They'll sit down there all day long and, it's like, and just you know, drink. Some people would and like drink to sit and in there drink and until smell. they literally pull them out <laughs> of it. Uh, <laughs> But anyways, even though there's a big sign that says no alcohol beverages. <laughs> anyways, um, so the bed, I found it to be actually kind of on the hard side. So the first couple layers are super soft, right? Right. And then it's like it's like sleeping on the plywood, <laughs> right? It is what it feels like. Um, so I had a hard time sleeping last night. Um, I think the biggest problem was uh, there wasn't enough air movement. Me too. There wasn't enough uh, air It just movement. wasn't the air, air conditioning, you know, and normally we could open up the balcony. There we go again with the balcony. Um, just get maybe get some air moving, but it was just like, it just stayed. You know, it was like cooler, but the air just stayed. And so um, definitely uh, bring a fan or something. Another thing I always wonder, why don't hotels, at least a lot of them that we stay in, have ceiling fans? I think... That would be a great... I think that would help. I think that'd be great. I think everybody would enjoy seeing Just to get the air flowing. But here, it was just like, just just stayed. I also noticed the bathroom did not have air vents. No, it didn't have you like... the air flowing in there? Yeah, like I said, oh. that's one problem we noticed. Uh, the water pressure... Uh, was great. Was great. It was super hot. Um, compared to the other Margaritavilles, I would say that this... This is the best one by far, shower-wise. Was it? Yes. Oh, wow. So I thought the one... At the island above, they had the had the you know the ceiling shower and the side shower. I thought that was really cool with the step in shower. So um, yeah, so this room has two huge TVs in it, and it's perfect if you have two different people who want to watch two different shows. So I guess uh, that that's a plus. Also, um, that Wi-Fi was running uh, about seventeen megabytes per second. So uh, bo both upload and download. So it was doing very very well here. Got great internet. This is our last of our Margaritavilles here in, well, the Great Smoky Mountains. So we've done all three of them. I'll put links in the description below so you guys can check out our other uh, Margaritaville um, Island <laughs> hotels in the area. Um, so I guess the big question is, Dawn, is would you do Margaritaville Gatlinburg again? Yes. But this time, I'd want a balcony with it. Yeah, I totally agree. Different room. We, and like I said, that's our mistake. We're not beating it up. Um, we still, but I guess that knowing this hotel and walking by it for a long time, that I thought every room in here was, you know, like I said, had a balcony. I would definitely, if you want a balcony, um, I would definitely, uh, when you make your reservation, call, check, make sure you got that. Because I think there's, I don't know, I was disappointed. about a half a dozen rooms here. I guess the window view is okay, but it's, you gotta um, have the balcony, you know. That, that's just my preference. Guys, that's going to do it for today here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And if you like this vlog, give it, give a, it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming, well, 
hotel reviews, we do our restaurant reviews, we do Dollywood, uh, we hike the mountains, and everything in between. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody.